Hey everybody, this is Dave from My Tech Man Cave, and today I'd like to show you Parallels for Mac. Uh, great software. It's amazing how you can run Windows 7, Windows 8, Chrome OS, Fedora, and Ubuntu on a Mac all at the same time. And uh, there's also a mobile app that you can. Uh, run on your iPad or iPhone and that I'll show you later on in the video well when you first download the free trial uh, you're met with a page like this uh, and you could start with your new virtual machine you if you have the disk you can install from the disk if not you can go to the store and buy the uh, you know from parallels website and buy uh, your own uh, copy instead of going through Microsoft Anyway, um, what you do is you, uh, you you start out by by clicking on here and you install from the disk, or you can choose an image file, and uh, it will install a copy of Windows uh, right to your Mac. Uh, you can you could set it up so that you it integrates with Mac or you can have a separate window um, you know running on top of Mac so uh, after you install you can also install Chrome Fedora uh, Ubuntu and um, you can also make partitions and you could download Windows 8 developer preview uh, with the SDK or without the SDK so it's a beautiful thing and I'll show you after you install you have a screen like this of your virtual windows and basically you can turn them all on uh, all at the same time and the, each one of them will ha be windowed um, you can also run Windows 7 in full you know all of these in full screen and uh, it's great uh, I think it's the the best thing I've ever seen so um, and, and we're not talking a uh, watered down version of these OS's I'm talking full versions I have a Windows 7 Ultimate on mine um, and you know Chrome is not just a web page it's the actual Chrome OS and uh, same thing with the others so let's get started and I'll show you how you can run all five now I have a Mac Mini uh, I upgraded it to uh, four gigs uh, came with two uh, bought it in 2010 I think and uh, even with that small processing power I, I can you know run video in each one of these and I'm gonna just show you a, a glimpse of it and uh, how it works and then I'll show you the mobile app uh, whether it's Windows or Mac when I look Mac needs to service or you have to download separately anyway you have your gallery uh, it basically connects to your Picasa account. Hit more. Oh, that's a Google service, and you got CNBC. So that's a. Uh, I like to show you the app uh, that you can get in the App Store uh, for iOS. Uh, it works on iPad and uh, iPhone and iPod Touch, uh, and um, it's 4.99. And uh, I'll show you what it looks like. So pretty much when you open it, uh, you sign in using a registered email uh, that you used when you registered your uh, parallels um, and you, you put that in and you, you you have to set it up on the computer and put the same username uh, which is an email and a password um, and then once you do that you're synced and what happens now is you get that same list as you get there and if you want to see mirroring you want to mirror the Mac uh, that's what you do and basically these are touchscreen uh, mouse control and uh, there goes your Mac screen there now if you just wanted to you know use this app to go straight to Windows uh, what's nice about it is you can go straight to Windows it full screens it and you don't have to uh, you don't have to like resize and move it over and put it in the center it's basically boom just Windows I just want to see Windows then if you want to do the same with others like Chrome boom there it is Chrome 
And uh, what's what's nice about it is even if you want to see Windows and say you're out and uh, your wife's on the on the on the Mac at home uh, that's running the server, you can pretty much play with your Windows and the person who's using the Mac can just pretty much uh, minimize everything and uh, you can go and use Windows and not have to uh, not have to worry about interrupting that person so you know they're, they're you're playing around with it you're you know you're opening up the internet and you know you're, you're doing whatever you're doing and that person could be on the Mac and they you know pretty much go on their web page and you're both running two separate operating systems because that's in fact what it is two separate operating systems multiple opera operating systems so uh, you know you can't beat that let's see what happens if you go for the mirroring uh, you know you go for the mirroring and then you and your person who's using the Mac is gonna um, see the same exact thing but you can also probably install another version of Mac and it'll be added to the list and then this way you get your mirror you get your op separated operating system and you might even be able to put another Mac on there for to use to remotely without interrupting that person at home uh, using your computer so that's the pretty much the app it's easy uh, you know aside from other remote apps uh, and other uh, software that help you run multiple OS's uh, I think this one is the best uh, because of these features um, I like the sound uh, you know the audio uh, that's a plus and also the fact that you can run all these separate and uh, you know parallels got got it going on so um, go out get it uh, the reason I made this video is because I didn't know it had all these features I, I really liked it uh, I like the fact that you can run different operating systems but I didn't know it had all this features uh, you know that I just showed you now and earlier all right anyway uh, like this video subscribe uh, I'll make a bunch of other videos maybe if I find out some new things I'll throw them on there so have a nice day and thank you